Hi everyone. I'm here today to read you a book. And that book is Make $4 Million by Next Thursday. The author is Stephen Maines. And if the author's name is familiar to some of my viewers, it's because we read his book, Be a Perfect Person, in just three days in some of our classes. So we'll read chapter one of Make $4 million by next Thursday in this video. Uh, I would suggest you could get paper and a pencil and while you're listening and visualizing what's going on in the story, you could doodle and perhaps you know come up with some images that you're seeing in your mind um, of what's going on in the story. Or maybe you just want to close your eyes and rest them and listen and enjoy this book or watch the video screen. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. So here we go. There are a few illustrations and I'll stop and show those when they do pop up. Chapter one. Some people want to be doctors or lawyers or pig farmers. Jason Nozzle wanted to be a multimillionaire. It all began one Thursday afternoon at the frozen lizard stand in the park. Jason had just ordered an iced iguana bar, but when he reached into his pocket, his money was missing. In its place was a hole the size of his fist. His allowance for the entire month had disappeared every last cent. Jason was pretty sure he had the money when school let out, but ever since, he and his best friend Ravi had been roaming through the park woods. The money could have fallen out anywhere. Twelve whole dollars, Jason said dejectedly. Gone. I'll help you look for it, Ravi offered, biting the head of a cool chameleon. Jason sighed. It'd take forever. We wouldn't even know where to start looking. You're right, Ravi agreed. And who knows? Maybe somebody else already found your money and kept it. Maybe you should just forget it. But Jason couldn't just forget that much money. There had to be some way to get it back. As he trudged along, he tried to think of what might work. Suddenly, he had a brainstorm. Jason ran home to borrow his brother's treasure finder. Do you know what he's talking about? I think he's talking about a metal detector. When it found metal, it was supposed to beep. Jason hoped it would beep at his quarters, dimes, and nickels. He hoped the trail of coins would lead him to his two $5 bills and two singles. The treasure finder began beeping the minute Jason walked into the woods. Beep! A rusty old tailpipe covered with moss. Boop! A r three smelly sardine cans with bugs crawling out of them. Rap! A ballpoint pen sticking out of some mud. Jason bent down to pick it up. It wasn't even a whole pen. Pointless, he exclaimed, tossing it at the sardine cans. Some treasure. Beep, bop, boop. The loudest treasure yet. Probably another hunk of junk, Jason muttered. He stooped down to take a look. Junk, all right. A battered metal table. Bent. Twisted. Upside down and missing two legs. Treasure, ha, huh, forget it. But Jason spotted a green dollar sign sticking out beneath the tabletop. Was it some of his missing money? He pushed the table aside and bent down closer. Jason shook his head in disgust. Just my rotten luck. The dollar sign wasn't printed on money at all. It was printed on the front of a book. Jason picked up the book and wiped the mud from the front cover. There were dollar signs all over it. There were even dollar signs in the title. Make four million dollars by next Thursday. The author's picture was on the back. Dr. K. Pinkerton Silverfish was wearing a worn out baseball cap with a dollar sign on the front two untied shoes with dollar bills for tongues, and a grimy apron that said, I eat rich food. His shirt was decorated with brightly colored dollar signs. 
In front of it, a big golden dollar sign pendant dangled from a chain of pennies. Dr. Silverfish was wearing glasses with dollar sign frames. He was biting into a bologna sandwich shaped like a dollar sign, and he was barbecuing an enormous jack-o'-lantern that had dollar signs for eyes. Jason snorted. <laughs> he had seen plenty of rich people on TV and in newspapers and magazines. Rich people didn't look anything like Dr. Silverfish. Rich people had expensive cars. Rich people had enormous mansions. Rich people wore clothes that fit them perfectly and had designer names on the front or the back, sometimes the front and the back. If you had to pick someone to teach you how to become a millionaire, Dr. Silverfish would probably come in last. But Jason opened the book anyway. It couldn't do any worse than the treasure finder. And maybe, just maybe, Dr. Silverfish was smarter and richer than he looked. And here's a picture of Dr. Silverfish. <laughs> okay, we're inside the book now, and here's what our character read. Chapter 1. A word from the expert. I, Dr. K. Pinkerton Silverfish, happen to be the world's greatest expert on getting rich quick. But you know what steams my clams. You know what frost my mug. You think I look silly. <laughs> That's what. Jason grinned. Dr. Silverfish was smart enough to get that right. Well, maybe I do. So what? I wear a comfortable old baseball cap and leave my shoes untied and barbecue jack-o'-lanterns because I want to, and tough pumpkins to anybody who doesn't like it. When you have four million dollars, you can too. Or you can do something else, though I can't imagine why. Jason thought he probably would do something else, but he kept on reading. Chapter 2 why only four million dollars? Why not four billion? Many of you have no doubt read my wonderful, brilliant, and best-selling book, Be a Perfect Person in Just Three Days. In it, I, Dr. K. Pinkerton Silverfish, personally recommend my new book, Make Four Billion Dollars by Next Thursday. Well, this book is that new book with one slight change. So, you may be wondering why this book just teaches you how to make a measly four million dollars instead of four billion. You may feel disappointed. You may feel shortchanged. You may feel gypped. If so, too bad for you. As the world's leading authority on multi-millionairedom, I believe that four million dollars is more than plenty for any individual on this planet, except for one or two incredibly greedy people I will not stoop to mention. So if you think you just can't possibly get along with a mere four million dollars, put this book down. Immediately, you incredibly greedy person, you! <laughs> Jason thought for a second. He decided... Four million dollars would be enough for him. Chapter 3. The Silverfish Road to Riches. Still here? Good. I am now going to start you on your personal four million dollar plan. All you have to do is follow my instructions precisely from now until next Thursday. When you wake up that morning, you will be rich and I will be proud to welcome you to the ranks of four millionaires. Jason turned the page. Bam! A giant boxing glove popped out of the book and socked Jason in the nose. It was only paper, a pop-up trick, so it didn't hurt at all, but it wasn't exactly something Jason had expected. The boxing glove had a message printed on it. Did I tell you to turn the page? Jason shook his head. Correct. I most certainly did not, but I'll let it go just this once. Remember, you must follow my instructions precisely, so don't go turning any more pages until I tell you to. Got it? Jason nodded. Good. Please fold this boxing glove neatly and turn the page. Jason followed the instructions very, very carefully. Fine. 
Read the next two sentences and close the book. Sentence one. This evening after dinner, please return to the very next page. Sentence two. See you later, future four millionaire. Jason shut the book. Future four millionaire? He could hardly believe it. He could hardly even imagine it. With four million dollars, he would never have to worry about losing his allowance through holes in his pockets. He would never have to worry about money at all. He could buy anything he wanted, probably everything he wanted. He could buy slick new clothes and wild new shoes and a portable CD player and a season ticket for every sport and two or three enormous screen TV sets. He could buy cassettes of movies instead of renting them at a video store. He could buy a computer and all the game cartridges in the world. He could even buy baseball cards, everyone ever printed. He could buy enough baseball cards so that when one rolled down the sewer, he wouldn't have to get all messy trying to get it back. Maybe he could even buy his own ballpark and he'd probably still have money to spare. The more he thought about it, the better it sounded. He could buy a fast car and hire somebody to drive him around. He could buy an airplane and learn how to fly like a kid he saw on TV. He could buy a yacht and sail around the world. Instead of Jason asking his mom for money, his mom would ask him. Maybe he'd even give her an allowance. But if his big brother Stuart asked for money, Jason would make him beg a little. In a lot of ways, that sounded like the best part of all. Being a four millionaire was definitely something to look forward to, all right. Jason tucked the book under his arm and headed home. Then he stopped and turned off the treasure finder. It had done its job, even if only by accident. There was no point wasting batteries trying to hunt for lost nickels and dimes and quarters and $5 bills when $4 million were just one week away. And that's the end of chapter one. Here's a picture of Jason just dreaming of the things he'd buy with $4 million. And just for fun, I'll share with you some of the things students told me they'd like to buy with $4 million when I asked them the question, what would you buy if you had $4 million? I had answers such as I'd buy a large home or maybe more than one home. I'd buy expensive sports cars, uh, many expensive sports cars, and I'd basically collect them. I would help people I didn't even know by giving to people who needed the money. I would help family members out with my money. I buy a llama ranch, said one student, and have placed there uh, enough room for all my friends to stay. So there were many different answers when I asked students what they would do with $4 million. In the next video, we'll read chapter two, and we're gonna find out what does Dr. Silverfish have Jason do to begin earning uh, or finding out how he can get this $4 million. See you next time.